What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is going to be a super short video. I just wanted to record this to get this out to you guys uh, because I really wanted to share with you a really cool insect that I just caught. Uh, well, earlier today I call it, not now, uh, because it's almost like 12 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I wanted to just, you know, go ahead and record this. So let me share with you what I call it. If you didn't already see what it was in the thumbnail. <laughs> all right. So I have a question for you all. And I know some of you already know the answer to this question, but some of you may not. What kind of insect is this? I'm not looking for a technical scientific name. I'm just looking for the general name for this insect. So what is this exactly? Well, if you said B, which some of you probably have said, you are unfortunately incorrect. This is not a species of B, but is instead, believe it or not, a species of fly. And notice it's doing the signature fly scheming, rubbing its hands together, plotting something. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is actually a species of fly. Uh, specifically, it is Lafraya flavicollis, which is commonly referred to as the black-tailed Lafraya. Now, Lafraya is the genus that this fly is in, and it is a genus of robber flies. So this is actually a species of robber fly that mimics bumblebees, as I'm sure you can already tell. It's currently cleaning itself right now, as you can see. Now, if you're not familiar with robber flies, I made an entire video on robber flies, uh, specifically getting bitten by one, but I also talked about robber flies a little bit throughout the video. Um, but I have to warn you, if you haven't seen that video already, I had a non-copyrighted song in the background, um, quote unquote. Uh, the video was doing pretty well up until recently when it got hit with a copyright claim. And so I had to go and mute the song that was playing in the background, even though it was supposedly non-copyrighted, but you know, things happen. So the video, the background of it just sounds a little <laughs> muffled. Oh, it's flying. Oh dear, that's well, that's why it's in this. All right, so back to what I was saying. Uh, the video, because I had to mute the audio in the background, it just sounds a little fuzzy. Uh, so if you're wondering, that is why. But yeah, go ahead and watch that video if you haven't seen it already. But I really wanted to talk about the mimicry that this rubber fly is sporting. So this rubber fly is exhibiting what's known as Batesian mimicry. Now, Batesian mimicry is when a harmless organism mimics a potentially harmful organism and what i mean by that is that this robber fly to a degree is completely harmless it does not contain a stinger in fact believe it or not if you were unsure although this robber fly is mimicking a bumblebee pretty well it still lacks a stinger a matter of fact there is actually no species of fly that has a stinger uh, now, robber flies, if you are unfamiliar with them, they do have venom. They can, you know, produce a venomous bite, uh, just like the video uh, getting bitten by a robber fly. My video that I recorded about robber flies, where I specifically get bitten by one, uh, you know, it does deliver a venomous bite, which, again, you can go check out if you haven't seen it already, but it can't produce a venomous sting with its ovipositor. So the ovipositor is what's found on all female ants, all female bees, all female wasps, and many of those, not all of them, but a large portion of them, the females of many ant, bees, and wasp species are able to produce a venomous sting to you know defend themselves with and also to subdue prey but there is no fly species that has a venomous ovipositor. But the robber fly, which is pretty much completely harmless, mimics a bumblebee, which most 
predators and many other organisms may see as a potential threat. Even people too, you know, someone might unknowingly mistaken this robber fly as a bumblebee and for good reason i mean it plays the part pretty well now the advantage of looking like a bumblebee is to avoid being eaten or messed with from potential predators and so if a bird were to see this it may you know not want to go after it not want to pursue it and find some other food to eat in fear of being, you know, potentially stung, even though, like I said, this is a completely harmless insect. Really, the only time a robber fly is going to bite is if you pin them down and have them make contact with you and they can't escape. That is when they are going to produce a venomous bite, but a robber fly will never just fly after you and land on you and then bite you. That's not how they operate. They go after insects to catch and feed on. Now, if you guys really enjoyed this fly species, let me actually show you one more that I caught from earlier today as well. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Alright, so this is yet another fly species that is exhibiting Batesian mimicry. Now, I already told you that this is a fly, but if you were to initially see this without me telling you anything, would you have thought that this is a fly species or a honeybee? So this is actually a species of fly that is mimicking a honeybee. And I'll put up a honeybee on screen so you can see the comparison. I mean, it's very much alike. Um, this one is a little bit more active than the robber fly, so let me try to go ahead and grab it. It keeps flying away. <laughs> so this specific fly species is Aristalis tenax, which is commonly referred to as the common drone fly. And if I can grab it without it flying away every five seconds. Um, <laughs> Now this fly is in the family known as Surfidae. Flies in the family Surfidae are commonly referred to as flower flies and also hover flies. And I'm trying my best to contain this fly on my hand, but it just keeps, you know, flying off. It's very active. Hover flies get their name from their hovering like abilities while flying, much like hummingbirds where they can remain almost motionless in the air while in flight. Now, unlike the robber fly that is venomous and is also a predator that feeds on other insects, hoverflies are completely harmless. They cannot bite you whatsoever. They do not have any venom and they also don't feed on other insects. So these flies will feed on nectar and pollen from flowers, which is also why they are sometimes called flower flies. Now the Batesian mimicry for this particular species of hoverfly, like I stated earlier, is of that of a honeybee. And the reason for that is because this hoverfly is completely harmless, uh, it doesn't have any defenses other than to fly away. It takes on the mimicry of a honeybee to ward off potential predators, much like how the black-tailed Lafraya makes itself look like a bumblebee, and that is to ward off potential predators. So things like birds and other predators that may feed on this hoverfly may think twice because it looks like a stinging insect species. All right, so now I'm gonna release these two insects that I caught. I just wanted to feature them in this video, but now I'm gonna put them back into the wild. 
All right, be free. Oh, there goes the hoverfly. <laughs> All right, now you just need to go. Oh, and there goes the robber fly. And with the release of the hoverfly and the robber fly, that is going to conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon and turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net. And I will see you guys in the next video.